What's up gang, Jose Wire Ninjas, the Tri-State's finest audio, video, and home theater installation team. We are also Dream Media's preferred install partner as part of their preferred partner network. We cover the Tri-State for them, and if you need install, give us a shout. Today we're doing a how-to, a tutorial, a how to terminate coaxial cable, specifically with coaxial terminations. You can terminate coax a variety of different ways. There's F-type connectors, there's uh, RCAs, um, and then there's the coax as well, amongst a few others. So today we're going to focus on coaxial cable with a coaxial termination head. So let's take a look at how this plays out. All right, guys. So I have everything laid out necessary for us. I have two coaxial cables. I'm going to give you two examples of this thing because there is a variety of coaxial heads on the market, all different types, styles. Uh, they shouldn't be varying too much in shape or size, but You'll see that the jackets themselves, some of them are like a plastic compression fitting. Some of them are straightforward metal compression fittings. They all have a little bit different uh, nuance to them. Some will crimp more or less or compress more or less. That's why there's an adjustable little screw on most of these compression tools. So we have two different heads for you guys to see two examples. We have our compression tool, which you will need. We have our wire stripping or our jacket stripping tool. It also strips the inner core from the coax and it strips it down to the levels we need. We have coaxial cutters, um, and we also have scissors and a utility knife. These may or may not come into play. It depends on the cable itself, if it's dual shield or quad shield. If it's quad shield, I like to use a scissor or a knife to cut that second layer of foil and, and get a nice clean cut on it, and it's not gonna get in the way while we terminate. So everything's laid out. Let's get into the actual termination of these cables. So I'm gonna hand the camera off. You can get some light on here, that's cool. Um, let's go for one of these cables. It, so we have our coaxial cable. Step one would be to actually kind of bend it. It's easier to terminate this if you have it in a straight configuration. If it's all bent up, it's going to be harder for you to pass the head through. So I would say number one is straightening out that cable. If you buy a 100 foot roll, it's going to come all coiled up on you. So let's straighten out that cable. Step two is going to be to use your wire, or wire jacket stripper. All these vary a little bit, but as long as you know how to use yours, you're going to be okay here. So RG59 and RG6 go in this side. We're going to go ahead and put the cable in this side. Now, the cable only needs to go into the tool as long as the tool is. So you can see that. That's how you put it into my tool. This is a pro strip from Platinum Tools. It's an excellent tool. I absolutely love it. I highly recommend it. But you can use whatever's suitable to you. Um, a lot of these tools, they need three full turns so that the blades can do their cutting action. Uh, with this tool, I like to cut it real, you know, give it three or four turns. I'm doing it extra just so I can show you guys the, you know, the motion that it takes. But once you strip enough or you cut enough rotations, you should be able to pull it off. And then it, and it, it should be pulling this core of the jacket off. This demonstration's not going well <laughs> because my tool is kind of dull. So if the tool's real dull, you're going to want to squeeze the head to make sure that blade cuts through that top layer. Oh, jeez. Oh, there we go. So that's the top layer I'm looking to remove. You see the blade makes two cuts. It cuts this inner core layer, so you have an exposed copper head. And then it, it cuts just the jacket on this layer so that you have these, these foils to fold over. So now the next step would be to actually take, there's a braided cable inside. You're going to want to fold this over the jacket in an umbrella fashion, similar to an audio termination for like a banana plug. So we're going to fold all these little strings of uh, wire uh, over. Once we get them all over, this is a quad shield cable, so what we're going to have to do is, is cut that inner uh, foil. And the way I like to do that, the safe way to do it is with scissors, so I guess I'll demonstrate that method. You're going to want a little snip right at the, at the edge there, and then you can peel the foil in a circular motion around because you want, yeah, that's perfect. So you want a little sleeve of foil that matches the same size you have as the head there. Now you can proceed to fold over the rest of the cabling. We're gonna fold this all over in an umbrella-like fashion. It's gonna just pour over the side or the cable jacket there. And once you get all this situated, it's better to have it, you know, nicely even spread. Um, okay. Give it a little push. Now you want to make sure that there's no little hanging wires. You see that? One of them is a little hanging there. Let's get that one folded over. Okay. So now you're ready to put the head on. After everything's folded over, you have nice and clean in the middle. You want a clean shield right there. You can put your head on. What I recommend is looking through the head as you put it on. 
So you wanna get a look through the head, that way you can see if the barrel's gonna, gonna actually make it through the head without getting caught. So if we take a look inside this barrel, it's got a little, like a little metal sleeve. If you, if you angle it or get it at the wrong, you know, if it's cocked in there, it's gonna rip open into this white part and you don't want that. You want the metal to just wrap around this insert nice and smooth. So you want to perfectly straight, throw the head on, and you can see how the white perfectly went through the middle two part. That's exactly what we want, that's perfect. So now the head's on and once the white meets the metal up here, we know we're clear to do the compression uh, portion of this. So the compression tool, the tip or the copper goes th right through the middle of the compression tool. And then you can simply compress. Check it out. So I have my compression tool set up for another fitting, as you can see. So it's not even compressing. So we have to actually unscrew this a bit so that we can get a nice compression on there. So we move that back. And now we're actually going to compress the fitting. Let's see how that motion actuates. Okay. Let's check, yeah, the fitting totally closed. So this compression seems to be good. The last thing you're gonna do is check physically. If this has any movement in it at all, it didn't compress right, it's not a good termination. This looks pretty good though. This is nice and tight on there, you can't pull it off. It looks good on the inside. The white's perfectly meat and flush in there and we have an exposed copper so that it can, it can get inside the other, the female side of this termination. Let's terminate another one for you guys real quick. So again, Make sure your cable is straight. You can throw your, your jacket stripper on there. If it's dull like mine, you're gonna to wanna to press down on these, these teeth so that it makes sure to cut that first core of that jacket. You can pull it off, it cut the first core. Take a look, see, this is the first part of the cut. It cuts the whole, the whole cable and removes it, exposing this copper. The second part just removes the jacket itself. Now, with the quad shield cable, you have to pull the strings or the wire at the outer edge first, get that out of the way before you can proceed. So let's get everything pulled over in our umbrella-like fashion. Oh, this is a dual shield. This is perfect for the video. <laughs> so we just did a quad shield with the inner foil. I showed you guys how to remove the inner foil. This is a dual shield cable, right? So all you have to do is push back all the shielding or all the wire in this umbrella-like fashion. It's good to have it nice and flush and go around the whole thing, right? And sometimes if there's a little snag, you kind of want to push that in so when you push the head over, it doesn't go through. Again, you see that inside? See the insert on the inside? It's like, it's kind of sharp, so you want to make sure that the tube goes through the tube, let's say. So I recommend looking through the tube. And it's good to have a little turn. I like to turn while I push it on there. And that's what you want to see. You want to see it nice and flush to the metal barrel. That's perfect. We know we're clear to compress. So again, the tip goes into the core of the tool. You do your compression. Don't over compress either. That is a thing. You can set this tool wrong and just break the thing. Again, it looking good on the inside. It's not coming off. It's nice and compressed on there. That's a beautiful termination. And that's how you do it. <laughs> So these are the recommended tools. We showed you guys how to do it with two different types of cable, two different types of coaxial head. Um, I think that about covers it. All right, buddies, we hope you liked that video. We showed you how to terminate coaxial with coaxial heads. Now, this is RG6 cable. If you wanna get technical, we're using RG6 cable with coaxial termination heads. Uh, we showed you two different types of cable. One's a dual shield, one's a quad shield. Uh, we showed you two different types of connectors. Now, my tools aren't the best. They're pretty good though. I think they're both pro-grade tools. Maybe the compression's not. Um, pro-grade tools, probably around 120 for the set of pro-grade tools. You don't need them. I use the regular, basic, cheap tools for a very long time. Uh, because I've been doing this a while, it's nice to upgrade the tools and have better tools for use on a daily basis. However, you don't need to go crazy. Just get the tools you need and start practicing your compression fittings. The most important thing with any of this stuff is the actual time in the field, developing the skills in real time in the field. It's more important than any tools you could buy, to be honest. You know, you don't need the best stuff. It's not going to make you a better installer, but the field work will make you a better installer. So we hope you guys like the content. Um, please stay tuned. We got a lot more of this stuff coming out, this type of stuff and other stuff. And peace, man. <laughs> we'll see you next time. Just cruising through the neighborhood. On to the next one.